Hello, good evening. Hello. How are you? Fine? Yes. Fine, thank you. Fine. Happy. Fine. Very good. Very good. Let's begin. Vamos a empezar pasando la asistencia y luego nos movemos ya nuestros contenidos. Ok. Vamos a ver. Javier Salomón. Thank you. Ok. Celia Cristina. Present. Thank you. Claudia María. Claudia María. Ok. Concepción Marina. Present. Thank you. Diego Nicolás. Not yet. Ok. Giovanni, Herbert Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Iris Cristela. No yet. Iris Liliana. Ok. Irma Stephanie. No yet. Jocelyn Selene. Present. Thank you. Stephanie, right? Ok. Jocelyn is not here. Josué Alejandro. Present. Thank you. Juan Ramón. Ok, it's not here. Karen Leticia. Present. Thank you. Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. Marcela María. Not yet. Marina Yancy. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lice. Ok. Norma Patricia. Norma Patricia. Ok, Rodolfo. Para igual a Ok, thank you very much. Ok, Norma, right? Claudia María, ok, very good. Yes. yes, very good, thank you very much. Ok, let's begin. Vamos a empezar. El día de hoy. Teacher Maxi. Sí, 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 Saraí, gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ok, si me, si me ayudan, por favor, con el sonido del entorno, que vamos a tener ese cuidado, ok. Vamos a ver. Esta noche vamos a in iniciar un nuevo contenido. Hemos estado practicando simple present tense, but today we are going to practice with a different content. And the content is how much, how many. Antes de iniciar la práctica con este, con este tema, tenemos que identificar que hay productos y hay objetos que eh, se clasifican en dos categorías, count nouns, non-count nouns, and that's very easy. Count nouns, you can count them. Los puede contar por unidades. Non-count nouns, you cannot count them. No las puede contar por unidades. Y vamos a ver entonces acá. Vamos a ver aquí rapidísimo si podemos ver. ¿Podemos ver la pantalla? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. <coughs> So we are here, and then we have here, you see, count nouns, non-count nouns. Count nouns, you can count them. Y como los podemos contar, ustedes utilizan a an, que esto ya lo vimos el módulo anterior, an egg, a potato, cuando es solo uno, y si es, y, y si podemos pluralizar, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos two eggs, three eggs, five eggs, or Three potatoes, eight potatoes, ¿ok? Estamos acá. Ahora, non-count nouns son los que no podemos contar por unidades. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos pan, es en general. Usted puede contar 
las bolsas de pan, ¿verdad? Si estamos hablando del, de la pieza de pan completa. O lerus, ¿verdad? Es bien difícil poderlo contar a no ser que cuente las cabezas de las lechugas, ¿verdad? Ahí, ahí, pero entonces usted está contando las cabezas. Por ejemplo, coffee. You cannot count coffee. Usted puede contar two cups of coffee, pero ahí está contando las tazas del café. No está contando el café. Water, three bottles of water. You count the bottles, you don't count the water. Y así sucesivamente tenemos sugar, tenemos eh, salt. No lo podemos contar, ¿verdad? Entonces nos venimos acá y hacemos esta clasificación. Vamos a hacer el primer ejercicio y vamos a recordar, mira, hoy vamos a hablar más que todo de comida, mm, delicious. Vamos a irnos a los grupos en este momento. What I need from you is that you write down two lists. One list that includes count nouns, eggs, apples, oranges, and another list including non-count nouns, water, sugar, tea, coffee, salt, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a hacer esas dos listas y luego vamos a regresar acá a continuar eh, con nuestro tema antes de pasar a nuestro manual, ¿ok? Are we ready? Yes. Juan, welcome. You are here. Ok, very good, very good. Hi. Hello, welcome. Ok, very good. ¿Estamos bien? ¿Tenemos alguna consulta al momento antes de pasar a practicar? ¿O estamos claros con los noun, con los count nouns and non-count nouns? Are we okay here? Yes? Ok. Let's go, let's practice then. Vámonos a practicar. Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer poquitos grupos para que haya suficientes personas practicando. Okay. Muy bien. Yes. I send you the invitation. Please click on join. Please click on join. Rodolfo, welcome. Juan me confirma si ha recibido la invitación, por favor.
Very good, very good. <laughs> I'll send you the invitation. Very good. Muy bien, Jocelyn. Le envié la invitación también a Tatiana. Ok. Jocelyn me confirma si la recibe. Ok, muy bien. Sería Am también, ¿verdad? Porque como va la sí. otra O. Orange, Orange, con S, la otra. Orange. Estamos, eh... Voy a se cuentan. Yes. Sí, la, la cebolla, onions se cuentan. Onions, sí. onions, very good. Onions. How's mm. everything? Sí. Yes. Yes, everything's fine. Oh, sí. Ok, good. Yes, yes. Okay. tenemos... Tenemos... Eh, Como 12 y 11. Con... Nice. Counts. Ok. Tenemos grapes, orange. Orange. Watermelon. Ok. Cherries. Cherries. Uh -huh. Ok. En non eh, count strawberry. Now? Strawberries, very good. Ah, sí. Milk. Milk, good. Ju juice. Juice, very Milk. good. Juice. Rice. Rice. Coffee. Coffee. Water. Water, okay. Okay, very good, very good. Ya casi me lo llevo al aula. Honey. Honey, yes, very good. Okay. Super nice. <laughs> nice, very good. Okay, ya los veo en el aula. Okay. Milk. Gram. Milk. Milk. How's everything? How is everything? Good? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, sand. What? What? Sand. 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 Yes. When you go to the sand. beach, the sand where mm -hmm. you walk. Sand. Mm -hmm. no. And, um, light. Yes, you cannot count. Information is another non count noun. You cannot count information. Mm. Sugar. Sugar, yes. What about honey? Mm -hmm. Honey? Mm -hmm. 
Jam. Jam. Milk. Milk. Pero no dependería si viene en caja, por ejemplo. Ahí, ahí cuentan las cajas, no cuenta la leche. No cuenta ah, okay. la leche. Ok, milk. Cartons of milk. Usted cuenta los cartones de leche. Ah, si ponemos milk. Sí, milk sí, is no count. Uh -huh. No okay. count. Okay. No es uh -huh. contable. Ok. Cheese. Cheese. Exacto, muy bien. Rice o ruiz, no sé cómo se dice. Rice, arroz, rice. rice. Very good. Rice. En beans también. Entonces. Salt. Beans, muy bien. Salt. Sand es arena, ¿verdad? Sand, muy bien. Arena. Sand. Yes, sand. Good. Ok, me lo llevo hoy, me lo llevo ya. Ok. Very good, we're back here. Nice, very good. Ok, let's see. Giovanni, can you please give me some count nouns? Count nouns. Uh... Yes. Count nouns, the ones that you can For count. Example, cups. Um, cups. Cups, okay. Yes, cups. What else? Uh, bed. Beds, okay. Bed, TVs. I'm sorry? TVs. Yeah, TV sets, yes, televisions. TV uh, sets. Chairs. Chairs, good. Oh, chairs. Uh -huh. uh, pencils. Pencils, very good, yes. Uh, computers. Computers, very good. Thank you very much. Karen Leticia, can you please give me more count nouns? Okay. Uh, milk. I'm sorry? Milk. Uh, na, uh, that is a, na, a non count noun. Let's continue with the count nouns, the ones you can count. Please. Ah, count, count. Yes, no. please, okay. Please. Uh, grapes. Grapes. Okay. Orange. Oranges. Oranges. Cherries. Cherries. Okay, but grapes and cherries, you can count them. Sí las pueden contar, pero cuando las compramos, las compramos con otra medida, ¿verdad? Con otra unidad de medida. Uh. No peso. decimos, ajá, no decimos, deme tres uvas o cinco uvas. Entonces, por lo general lo clasificamos como non-count por la razón que lo, lo compramos okay. eh, por, por el peso o por los botecitos que vienen ya, en el caso de las cherries, ¿verdad? las cerezas. Ok, seguimos, porfa. Eh... Boxes. Okay, boxes. Very good. Boxes. Tables. Tables. Yes, good. Um, apples. Apples. Very good. Thank you very much. Marina, can you please continue with count nouns? The ones you can count. Do you have more? Nos ayuda con más count nouns, please. ¿Será que nos escuchamos? Concepción Marina nos ayuda con eh, count nouns, please. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay, thank you. Don't. Count, Don't. count nouns. Dog. Dog. Dog, okay, very good. Cat. Cats. Lemon. Lemons, yes. Uh. 
I'm sorry? Books. 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 Yes. Books. Yes. Books. Books. Very good. House. Okay. Give me one more. House. House. Nice. Very good. Okay. Juan, can you please begin with non count nouns? Hi. Yes. Um, milk. Yes. Milk. Grass. Yes. Gas. Sand. Sand. Light. Light. Very good. Wind. Wind. Yes. Very good. Wind. Uh huh. One more. Beans. Beans. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Claudia Maria, can you please help us? Do you have more non count nouns? Yes. Okay. Cream. Cream. Okay. Grass. Grass. Yes. Sugar. Sugar. Uh, honey. Honey. Yes. Beautiful. Very good. Okay. What about money? Is it a count or non count noun? Money. Count. count. Can you count money? Count money. Podemos contar? We can count. Yes. Uh -uh. We can count mm. the bills. Podemos contar los billetes uh -huh. o las monedas. Pero money. Uh -huh. Money is a concept. No, no. Okay, so money is non count noun. Okay, you say um, you can count the bills. Pueden contar los billetes, las monedas. Okay, pero no el dinero. Aquí vamos a tener ese, ese cuidado al, al usarlo. Okay, vamos entonces, vamos a ver acá, miren. Vamos a incorporar a nuestra práctica. El uso de some and any. Si usted se fija acá, en los count nouns, sí podemos nosotros tener singular en plural. An egg, some eggs. A potato, some potatoes. Pero en los non-count nouns, no podemos tener plurales. Porque esto es únicamente no contable. Como no podemos tener unidades, no podemos pluralizarlas. Solamente bread, lettuce, honey, sugar, salt, así como ustedes lo clasificaron. Ahora, tenemos el uso de some en any y lo tenemos en ambos casos. Mire, tanto en los count nouns como en los non count nouns. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Utilizamos some en affirmative statements. Ok, let's get some potatoes. Let's get some lettuce. Lettuce, no decimos lettuces. Aquí no pluralizamos. Aquí sí pluralizamos, pero siempre usamos some in positive sentences. Y luego vamos a utilizar any in negative and in questions. We don't need any potatoes. We don't need any letters. Y aquí tampoco pluralizamos. No podemos pluralizar los non-count nouns. Ahora, en las preguntas, do we need any potatoes? Do we need any letters? Entonces, tenemos que la regla es some in affirmative sentences, any in negative and in questions. Así es como lo vamos a utilizar. Quiero saber si estamos claros hasta este momento. Some and any. Are we okay? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Repeat, please. I'm sorry? Please, teacher. Repeat, please. Yes, of course. Muy bien. Vamos entonces, vamos a incorporar el uso de some and any. Vamos a ocuparlos... Tanto con count nouns como con non count nouns. Tanto con los que se pueden contar como con los que no se pueden contar. Y la regla es que vamos a utilizar some 
en oraciones afirmativas, affirmative sentences. Por ejemplo, let's get some potatoes. Hemos pluralizado potatoes porque sí podemos contar. Y en los non nouns, let's get some lettuce. Aquí no pluralizamos porque no lo podemos contar, pero lo utilizamos igual. Eso es some. ¿Ok? Ahora vamos a utilizar any cuando decimos una oración negativa. We don't need any potatoes. We don't need any lettuce. Lo utilizamos igual en los dos escenarios. Con el cuidado que los que son count nouns, sí lo pluralizamos. Y los que no son count nouns, no lo pluralizamos. Y también utilizamos any para las preguntas. Do we need any potatoes? Do we need any lettuce? Y ahí tenemos el uso de son y any que vamos a practicar en este momento. Quiero saber si estamos bien hasta el momento. Are we okay? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Antes de pasar a esta práctica, Teacher. yes, dígame, dígame. Rodolfo. Eh, cuando mencionamos en el ejemplo que está, do we need any potatoes? Eh, ¿Cómo formular la pregunta? Si allí solo hablamos en plural, cuando es sí. negativo. Sí. Lo ponemos en plural porque estamos preguntando si necesitamos algunas papas. Ahí estamos pluralizando. Si usted okay. quiere ser bien específico, entonces no usa any. Usted dice, do we need a potato? Ahí ocupa a an. Cuando solo es uno, pero por lo general no preguntamos así, sino que de plural. Do we need any... Okay. Do we need any chairs? Do we need any cars? Do we need any tables? Do we need any desks? Vamos de esa manera, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok, muy bien. Ahora, tenemos una excepción con el uso de some y es importante que lo, que lo sepamos. Vamos a utilizar some en preguntas únicamente cuando usted ofrece o pide algo. Por ejemplo, eh, Rodolfo llega a inglés corporativo y yo le digo, eh, Would you like some water? ¿Le gustaría un poco de agua? Yo le ofrezco, yo le pregunto, yo le ofrezco. Entonces yo utilizo some porque yo le estoy ofreciendo. O él me dice, teacher, do you have some water? Me está preguntando, me está pidiendo. Es el único escenario en donde hacemos la excepción de utilizar some en preguntas. ¿Ok? That's important that you know that. Ok, very good. Vamos entonces, vamos a practicar some en any. I need you to please take a picture of this. Tómele una fotito. Y nos vamos a ir a los grupos a completar acá en los espacios en blanco. Las opciones que ustedes tienen son some en any. Y ahí usted va a definir a dónde va a colocar cada uno. Luego regresamos acá a, a verificar juntos. ¿Ya tienen las fotos? Yes. Ok. ¿Hay alguien que me pueda ayudar eh, poniendo la foto en el grupo, por favor, para, para, para que la tengamos de respaldo? Ok. Ok, nos podemos ir a practicar ya, ¿verdad? Ya todos tenemos la imagen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ok, let's go. Los envío a los breakout rooms para que completemos la conversación. Regresamos, verificamos y luego la vamos a practicar. Ok, pronunciation and intonation. Please click on join. I send you the invitations, please. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you.
¿Te verdad? Sí, sería son. Son cero. Uh -huh. La otra sí es pregunta. Ajá, la otra sí es pregunta. Sería N. 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 Celery. N. N. Celery. I have. I have. An idea. An Luego va a leer. Pat. Pat. Yes, apples. Let's put some apples. Reporting in progress. Are you serious? <laughs> apples in a potato salad? Well, Okay. Yeah. 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 Luego, no, no quiero. Tiene que Recording in progress. Mm -hmm. I don't Ahí want to celery. I had an idea. I have an idea. Very good. Uh -huh. I have an idea. Very good. Mm. Sí. Uh -huh. Y de la otra sería Let's put some apples in it. Um, yeah. Let's put um, son porque él estaba diciendo que vaya. Ajá. Uh -huh. Son, ajá. Uh -huh. Algunas más. Let's put some apples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, apple. Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo quedó todo? Okay. ¿Quién quiere ser Kate y quién quiere ser Jane? Y mm. seis Stephanie. Les iba a decir que ustedes porque yo no anoté como lo tengo como captura. Yo tampoco lo estoy terminando de pasar. Uh, yo sí tengo solo una me, que me la comí porque era casi igual, entonces en esa soy medio perdida. Pero les voy a decir las que tengo. Bye. Kate, they don't help any potato salts. Jane, but we hate loads of Potatoes. at home. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Yes. No, we need to buy any and we need some onions. Okay. Oh, no, I don't. Ay, ni yo entiendo que explique como lo he escrito. No me tan. Um, and any onions in this salad? 
Jay, okay, don't worry, let's do some celebrity. Me he quedado. Let's go, okay. Sería, no, I don't want any celery. I have an idea. Let's put some apples in it. Mm -hmm. Ok, el cielo sí que me había perdido. Ok, vamos entonces, me los voy a llevar para que practiquemos, ok? Vamos. <risa> No. Vámonos entonces. We finished, right? Si finalizamos. Yes. Yes. Ready to practice. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. Vamos a verificar antes de que pasemos ya a la, a la sección de, de la práctica. Vamos a verificar. Les voy a recordar una sugerencia que les había hecho de, de un diccionario que ustedes pueden tener eh, es una aplicación gratuita que ustedes pueden tener en su teléfono o en su computadora y que es muy completa. Se las estoy dejando acá en el chat para quien desee tenerlo como apoyo. Eh, les voy a mostrar en este momento cuando necesitamos verificar, ¿verdad? Eh, alguna, alguna palabra o algo. Estamos acá, mire, wordreference.com. Y aquí usted tiene una infinidad de idiomas y de combinaciones. Ahorita nos interesa English, Spanish y tenemos, por ejemplo, vamos a tener la palabra acá. Estamos acá, la buscamos. Estamos acá, mire, y le quiero mostrar acá. Muy bien. Tienen acá los dos acentos. Ustedes pueden pedir la, la pronunciación en inglés americano o en inglés británico. Estamos más expuestos al americano. Vámonos acá. Y entonces usted le da clic al icono. Mayonnaise. Can you please listen and repeat? Mayonnaise. Ok. Everybody. Mayonnaise. Ok. Y tenemos aquí el sonido. Mire, lo tenemos aquí como, como, eh, como lo pronunciamos, ¿verdad? También esto nos, nos apoya. Mira que estamos. Mayonnaise. 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 Can you please? Mayonnaise. 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 Ok. Very good. Mayonnaise. Y aquí nos podemos apoyar. Luego... Solo para efectos de que ustedes vean, acá abajo estamos con la traducción, estamos con ejemplos, aquí les ponen ejemplos de cómo usarlo y hay palabras en las que pueden haber ciertas combinaciones. Aquí está, mire, las formas compuestas. Entonces, aquí ya tenemos eh, formas compuestas que ya podemos también apoyarnos. ¿verdad? Entonces, se los comparto. Me parece que es un recurso bastante útil y pues nos va a servir en el proceso. Vamos ahora a verificar nuestro ejercicio. Vamos a ver acá. Y vamos entonces con las respuestas. Estamos acá y vamos a verificar cómo tenemos nuestra conversación. Kate dice, oh, they don't have any potato salad. Right? That's the example. 
And then Jane says, but we have lots of potatoes at home. Let's make some. Esta es afirmativa. Let's make some. Then Kay says, great. Do we have any mayonnaise? Any, porque estamos en una pregunta. And then Jane says, <coughs> no. Salud. No, we need to buy some. That's affirmative. And we need some onions. That's affirmative. Then we have Kate. Oh, no, I don't want any onions in the salad. That's negative. I don't want any. And then Jane says, okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery then. Aquí no nos confundamos porque el okay, don't worry, esa es una oración. Termina en este punto. Luego inicia la oración afirmativa. Let's get some celery then. Celery is apio. Okay. And then Kate says, no, I don't want any celery. I have an idea. Let's put some apples in it. And then Jane says, are you serious? Apples in potato salad? Well, okay. Okay. ¿Estamos bien acá con, con las respuestas que ustedes tenían en el ejercicio? Yes. Are we okay? Estamos bien, tenemos alguna consulta. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Me ayudan ahí, por favor, con el sonido del entorno. Thank you. Okay. Vamos entonces, vamos a practicar entonces la conversación antes de irnos a los breakout rooms a practicarla, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Let's be expressive. Let's listen and then repeat. Ok. Oh, oh, they don't have any potato salad. Can you please repeat? Oh, yeah. they, they don't, don't have, have any potato, any potato salad. salad. Very good. But we have lots of potatoes at home. Let's make some. But and we, we have, have a lot of potatoes, potatoes, potatoes at, at home. home. Let's make some. Let's, let's yes, make, make some. Let's make some. some. Make Very some. good. Make some. Some. Okay. Great. Yeah, yeah, y ahí no agregamos potatoes. No es necesario. No, no es necesario, necesario porque ya lo mencionamos. Lo acabamos de mencionar. Okay, let's make some. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But we have lots of potatoes at home, so let's make some. Estamos hablando de la ensalada, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Great. Do we have any mayonnaise? Can you put Great. Do you have any mayonnaise? Okay. Okay. Great. Do we have any mayonnaise? Great. Great. Okay. Okay. Yes. We have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, very good. Mayonnaise. Okay. No, we need to buy some. And we need some onions. Could you please? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions. Very good. Oh, no, I don't want any onions in the salad. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery then. Okay, no, I don't want any celery. I have an idea. Let's no. put no, some I... apples in it. I'm sorry. Okay. No. In it, very good. In Are it. you serious? Apples in potato salad? Well, okay. 
Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, well, okay. Okay. Well, okay. okay, very good. Okay, muy bien. Do I have two volunteers? ¿Quién quiere hacer la conversación? ¿Quién me ayuda? Thank you, Concepción Marina. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. ¿Quién dijo yo? Juan, o quién dijo yo? Giovanni. Yo, Giovanni. Giovanni, Ay, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Giovanni, go ahead. Giovanni and Concepción Marina. One, two, three, go. Thank you. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. But we have a lot of uh, potato at home. Let's make some. Great. Do we have any mayonnaise? 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 No, we need to buy some and we need some onions. Oh, no. I, I don't want any honest in this okay don't worry let's get some salary then no i don't want any salary i have an idea let us put some apples in it are you serious apples in potato salad well okay nice very good very good muy bien okay mirna lisette thank you very much and <laughs> karen leticia thank you very much Okay, let's begin. One, two, three, go. Okay. Be expressive. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. Salad? But we have loaded potatoes at home. Let's make some. Great. Do you have any? No. Mayonnaise? We need. No, we need to buy some and we need some. Onions. Oh no, I don't want any onions in the in the side. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery then. No, I don't want any celery. I have an idea. An idea. Let's put some apple in it. Okay, an idea. Can you please, Mirna Lisa? I have I have an, an idea. An idea. An idea. I, idea. I have an idea. 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 Very good. An idea. idea. Yes, very good. James? Okay. Are you serious? Apple in potato salad? Well, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, vamos a ver. Rodolfo, thank you very much. And Claudia Maria, of course, yes. You are doing the, you are role playing the conversation and then we move on. Okay, one, two, three, go. Be expressive. Imagínense la ensalada ahí. Okay, I am Kate. Okay. Uh, oh, they don't have any potato salad. But we have a lot of lots of potatoes at home. Let's make some. Great. Do we have any mayonnaise? Maybe. No, we need to buy some and we need some onions. Oh, no, I don't want any onions in the salad. Okay, don't worry. <coughs> Get some celery then. No, I don't want. I don't want any celery. I have idea. Let's put, put some apples in it. Are you serious? Apple in a potato salad? Well, okay. Okay, <laughs> like ni modo, right? Well, okay, <laughs> nice, very good, very good, muy bien. Bueno, vamos a ir a practicar, vamos a pasar asistencia primero y luego los llevo a los breakout rooms para que practiquen esta conversación. Después de esta conversación ya nos vamos a mover a nuestro manual, vamos a practicar how much, how many con los count and non-count nouns, okay? Let's go. Vámonos primero a la asistencia, rapidísimo. Y luego, acá, muy bien. Acá estamos. Very good. Abiel Salomón. Present. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. Thank you. Claudia María. Present. 
Thank you. Concepción Marina. Present. Thank you. Diego Nicolás. Present. Thank you. Herbert Giovanni. Present. Thank you, Giovanni. Iris Cristela. Okay. Iris Liliana. Present. Thank you. Irma Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Selene. Present. Thank you. Josué Alejandro. Present. Thank you. Present. Juan, thank you. Juan Ramón. Hi. Present. Thank you. Karen Leticia. Present. Thank you, Karen. Um, Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you. Marcela María. Not yet, right? Okay. Marina Yancy. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Present. Thank you very much. Rodolfo. Rodolfo Antonio. Present. Thank you. Saraí Guadalupe. Present. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Vámonos a los breakout rooms then. Only the conversation. I need you to practice pronunciation and intonation. It's like two minutes and then we continue. All right. Let's see. Please click on join. I send you the invitations. Here. Ok, me confirman si han recibido la invitación, si no yo se las envío de nuevo. Ok, nice. Celia, me confirma por favor. No escucho casi nada. De verdad. A ver. Eh, 
Great, Boyora, great. Do we have any mayonnaise? Uh -huh. Um, by, uh, oh, they don't have any potato salad. But we have lots of potatoes at home. Let's make some. Great. Do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. What? Mayonnaise. <laughs> That's good, good. No, we need to buy some. And we need some onions. Oh. Oh, no. I don't want any onions in the salad. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some salad. Then. No, I don't. I don't want any Celery. I have an idea. Let's put some apples in it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Apples in the potato salad? Well, okay. Nice, beautiful, very good. <laughs> very good. Do you like onions in the salad? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, they don't have any potato salad? But no, I don't want any salad. I have idea. Let's put some apples in it. Are you serious? Apples in potato salad? Well, podemos ir ahora, eh, digamos, Jocelyn puede empezar con Kit, después yo con. Jane, después opción con Kit, y así para que... Eh, eh, empieza. Si quiere que es usted, y yo soy Jane. Okay. Oh, they don't have in any potato sale. But we have potatoes at home. Let's make some. Great. Right. Do we have any mayonnaise? 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 No, we, no, we need to buy some and need some onions. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want any onion in the cell. Yes. Okay, don't worry. Let's get some celery then. Okay, yes. very good. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Yeah, I think it's on. Yeah, yes. No, I don't want any cereal. I celery, have celery. Celery. Okay. I have an idea. I, I have an idea. And I have an idea. An idea. Very good. An idea. Let's put some apples in, in some it. Some apples in it. Very good. Some apples. In Are it. you serious? Apples in potato salad? Well, okay. Well, okay. Very good. <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. Me los llevo hoy. Me los llevo ya para el aula. Vámonos. Very good. Super nice practice. Everyone was practicing here. So here is your like. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Now, hemos practicado count nouns and non-count nouns porque vamos ahora a, a practicar con dos preguntas. How much? How many? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? How many? Usted la ocupa para preguntar. Ambas son 
cuántos. Eso es lo que está preguntando, una cantidad. How many usted la utiliza con count nouns, con los que usted puede contar. How many apples? How many eh, chairs? How many cars do you want? How many cars do you need? How many cars do you have? Y how much cuando tenemos non-count nouns. How much water? How much sugar? How much honey? De esa manera es que lo vamos a utilizar. Vámonos entonces a nuestro manual. Let's open the book on page 14, página 14. Y aquí tenemos, mire, recuerda que estábamos hablando de Dominic y hemos estado hablando de los trabajos y aquí tenemos expressions to ask about money. Ya decíamos que money no lo podíamos contar. Entonces tenemos, how much do they pay? ¿Cuánto pagan? How much do they charge? ¿Cuánto cobran? How much is it? ¿Cuánto es? ¿Cuánto vale? ¿Cuánto le debo? How much do you earn every month? Or how much do you earn monthly? Y aquí tenemos, mire más vocabulario. Vamos a ver. Earn, it's an action word. Vamos a ver, acá está el chat. En español nosotros decimos ganar, ganar dinero, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto gana? ¿Cuánto gano? Entonces, tenemos en inglés dos palabritas. Aquí yo le pongo win, que es ganar una competencia. You win the championship. You win the, um, the tournament. You win the match. Y tenemos earn, que se refiere a devengar el salario, ¿verdad? Entonces, earn el equivalente a ganar, como lo usamos en español. Pero esto es cuando usted se gana su salario, su pago. De esa manera es como usamos ambas, ambas palabras. Ok. Entonces, tenemos acá, how much. Estamos enfatizando con los non-count nouns. Vamos a ver qué pasa en la conversación. Y luego continuamos con el siguiente ejercicio. Listen. To your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Let's see. Vamos a identificar vocabulario primero. Hey, Josh. Josh is a name. This conversation is between Ruth and Josh. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. Paid vacations. How many days? How many days? You can count days. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? How many bonuses? You can count the bonuses. I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Can you imagine that? Okay, very good. Muy bien. Vamos entonces con vocabulario. ¿Hay aquí algún, eh, alguna palabrita que quieran que aclaremos? ¿Tenemos acá? Yo, eh, teacher. Giovanni, um... yes. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. En la segunda intervención de Josh, donde dice yes. 20 days. Yes. La palabra que está abajo. Bonuses. Bonus. That's the Bonuses. plural okay. form for bonus. Lo bonus. Okay. Bonus okay. is singular. Bonuses, that's plural. Okay. Is there any other word? Paid vacations, vacaciones Paid. pagadas. Paid vacations, vacaciones pagadas, yes. Ok. Per year here. Vamos eh, a continuación de bonus. Es la palabra per. Ajá, por. Do you have per year, por año? Ruth. Ok. But each bonus, aquí al final. But each bonus, pero cada bono, 
is for more than $600. Es más de $600 cada bono. Okay. Are we okay here? Is there any other word? En el último, en el bat. Yes. Bat H sería. But each, but each bonus. Each. Yes. Ahí no lo pluralizamos okay. porque estamos eso, diciendo cada es... bono. Yes. Yes, Karen. Ah, okay. okay. Pero cada sí, bono. Es cada bono. Yes, exactly. Por eso no lo pluralizamos. Okay. I guess we're fine here. Okay, let's see. Let's practice then. Let's listen and repeat. Y después nos vamos a practicar, okay? Vamos a ver. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Can you please repeat? Hey, hey Josh, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Do you have uh, paid vacations? Okay. Vacations. They, vacations. 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 Good. Very good. Don't say va. They. Vacations. Vacations. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Yes, yes I, do. I do. How about you? How about you? Me too. I have Me paid too. vacations. Pero bien, Felipe. Me too. I have Me paid too. vacations. Me too. I have, I have paid vacations. vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? How, How many, many days, days do you have in your vacations? vacations? 20 days to be exact. 20, 20, 20 days, days to be exact. Uh, okay. How many bonuses do you have per year, uh, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much I, do you receive? I have, I have four bonuses. bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. I have, I have just a bonus for more than six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Beautiful. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. I'm Ruth and you are Josh. Okay. Ready. One, two, three. Let's do it. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. Yes, How about you? Do? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Beautiful. Yes, yes, very good. Beautiful. Mire, son bien amigos, ¿verdad? Para estar preguntando eso. Dígame, Giovanni. Solo acá en cómo se dice 600. $600. Six hundred. Hundred. A ver, aquí se lo pongo por acá. Vamos a ver. Six hundred dollars. Está en el chat. Six hundred. Dread. No digan der. Dread. Hundred. Six hundred dollars. Ok. Muy bien. Cambiamos. You are Ruth. I am Josh. One, two, three, go. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. I have a question hey, for you. How do you pay me? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have a question. 
20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have a bonus. I have a bonus. I have a bonus. I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. You see, very good, super nice. Ok, hagámoslo una vez más y luego vamos a practicar, ok? Vamos a ver, eh, de nuevo yo inicio. I'm Ruth, you are Josh. One, two, three, go. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, yes, I, yes do. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days. I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have $600. Very good, very good. Okay, we're going to role play this conversation. Los voy a enviar a los breakout rooms y yo necesito, aquí son bien amigos para que estén preguntando todo eso. Si es que necesito que ustedes be expressive, okay? You are like, wow, two bonuses, more than $600. And how about you? Okay, be expressive. We are practicing here. Pronunciation intonation and fluency. That's the idea for this exercise. Okay. okay, let's see. Vamos a ver. Fíjense que los voy a cambiar de grupo porque están muy cargados los grupos y necesito que tengan más espacio para poder practicar. Entonces, vamos a hacer grupos un poco más pequeños porque ya vemos más. Ok, vamos aquí. Muy bien. Estamos ya con grupos de cuatro y de tres personas. Y aquí vamos a practicar. Ay, ahora sí, mira, ahí con ese la puedo. Ok, here we go. I send you the invitations. Please click on join. Very good. No me llegó la invitación, teacher. Veamos, veamos. ¿Rodolfo? No, Diego. Sí, sí, Diego. Ok, ahorita yo lo muevo, ahorita. Yo se lo envío de nuevo. No. Le voy a enviar dos. Le da clic a la segunda, oye. Ok. Porque si no, aquí se me va a quedar muy solito. Vamos a ver. Ahorita. Ok, gracias. Ok.
practice yes 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 good very good very good yeah okay very good we are coming back so you practice right nice practice very yeah good. very good okay let's continue then let's continue here we are on page for uh, 14 and we have here this exercise three you help me circle the word that best completes the questions number one how much or many do they pay you tell me me ayudan acá much or how many much how much do they much. pay very good how much do they pay very good and now question number 2 we have here many oh, okay many. very good many, many days right how many days do you have in your vacation, in vacation. very good Okay. Ahora le doy un minutito para que individualmente ustedes coloquen estas preguntas a donde corresponde en el ejercicio 4 de acuerdo a las respuestas y luego lo comparamos. Esto es individualmente. Cada uno en silencio, completando aquí para que podamos luego comparar. Un minutito, ok. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Todavía no? No. Okay. Can we check? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Let's see. Number one, the answer is it is ten dollars fifty cents. What would be the question? Yes. Very good. How much is it? Let's repeat. How much is it? How much is it? 
is it? How yes, much very is good. It? How much is it? How much? How much? Is How much is it? Okay. It is ten dollars and fifty cents. How much it is? Okay. It is ten dollars and fifty cents. Very good. Very good. Okay. Number two, the answer is I make five hundred forty-five dollars monthly. How much? How much do you? How much? How much? Do you earn much do you every month? Make? Very good. How much do you earn every month? Every month, right? Or how much do you earn monthly? monthly. Yes. Are we okay? Estamos bien hasta acá? Yes? Okay, very good. Number three, the answer is they take $23 per item. How much do they charge? Yes, how much do they charge? Yes, how much do they charge? How much do they charge? Yes, they take $23 per item. $23 per item. Nice, good, good, okay. Number four, the company pays $690 with bonuses. How much, How much do, do they, they pay? pay? How much do they pay? Very good. How much do they pay? Super nice, okay. Estamos bien acá con estas preguntas y respuestas. Tenemos alguna consulta con mucho gusto. Nope. We're fine. Yes, we're fine. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, let's continue then. Very good. That was page 14. La página 15 la hicimos anoche. Terminamos con la carta de bienvenida de Dominic, recuerda? Con esto cerramos mm -hmm. la sesión de anoche y luego nos movemos a la página 16, page 16. Ahora sí, vamos a empezar ya a incorporar how many. Allá estábamos más con how much. How many days a week do you work? And how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Tenemos dos preguntitas y tenemos acá eh, la conversación. Nos movemos a la conversación. Vamos primero con vocabulario. Ben and Jeff. Ah, and Mario at the end. Okay. Ben says, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Then Jeff says, hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? Ben says, that's great. I work four week, four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for, a, for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Very good. Vamos a ver, ¿hay alguna palabrita? Is there any word that is not familiar to you? Vamos con vocabulario primero. Yeah. I have a question. Yes, please, Juan. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, Mario, dice, say, actually, no sé. Absolutely, absolutely. 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 Thank you. Okay. Absolutely is like definitely. Yes, for sure. Certainly. Right? Okay. Is there any other word? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Okay. Well, sometimes. Algunas sometimes. veces. Sometimes. ¿Se acuerda? Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Good. Okay. 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 Eh, teacher. Yes, Giovanni. La palabra extra. ¿Cómo se Extra, pronuncia. like that. Extra. Each extra hour ah, is, okay. yes, is around 
We can say extra hour. We can say overtime. <clears throat> it's the same. Okay. Okay, let's do it then. Let's repeat. Uh, listen and repeat. And then we're going to role play. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Can you please repeat? Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. How, yeah. How, how, how are you doing? 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 Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? Hey Ben, hey, well, well, I work five days, days a week. week. And you? And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's great. I work for four, four, four weeks. Days, days, sometimes, 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 Saturday. Okay. Sometimes. 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 Okay. Sometimes. Estamos bien con weekdays, días de semana? Sí, ¿verdad? Weekdays, yes. Okay. yeah. Yes, okay. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for eight, for each extra hour? Really? On Muy bien. Vamos a repetirla. Esta es larguita. Vamos a repetirla. Solamente vamos a ver. Really? On Saturday? Let's repeat. Really? On Saturday? Really? Really? On Saturday? Do you work on Do you work on Extra house? Extra house? Extra house? Extra, extra hours. hours. A ver, acá. Extra, extra hours. hours. Vamos a hacer una pausa. Extra hours. Oh. Extra hours. Extra hours. La, la H en suena. Extra hours. Very good. Extra hours. Do you work extra hours? Do you work extra hours? Extra hours. And how much money do you pay for each extra hour? And how much money? And how much money? Extra hours. Okay. Extra hours. Money. 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 Yes, very good. And how money. much money do you do they pay for each do extra they... hour? Can you please? Hour, extra hour, 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 extra hour, extra hour. Okay. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Yes, Each extra hour is around ten dollars. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. Very good. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? I think I say well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Right? Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Aquí este, este right es el equivalente a, a nuestro, ¿verdad? Just to confirm, para confirmar. Well, okay. sometimes there is not much time, porque esa es una, una oración, no es pregunta. La única pregunta es el verdad del final. Right? Para confirmar. Okay. Vamos a ver. Let's role play. I am Ben, you are Jeff. Okay? Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. 
Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I think well, we sometimes say it's not much time, right? Time right? Time right? Time right? Time right? Time right? Absolutely. Very good. Now let's switch. You are Ben, I am Jeff. One, two, three, go. Yes. 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 How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, yes, yes for extra hour. hours. There is very much extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good, very good. Muy bien, muy bien. Vamos a ir a practicar la conversación. That's number one. And then in here we have more questions. You see, tenemos aquí más preguntas. Eh, vamos a hacer el ejercicio tres también. Vamos a encerrar aquí en, en un círculo. ¿Cuál es? Y vamos a, a practicar luego con estas preguntas. Ustedes en, en, en su grupo, ¿ok? Ok, let's go. Let's see. We are on page 16. Same group. I sent you the invitation. Please click on join. Ok. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Me confirman si les ha llegado la invitación, por favor? Si no, con gusto se las envío de nuevo. Se las envío de nuevo, entonces. There you go.
How much money do they pay for eight extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. We finished the conversation. Okay, and the last part, did you practice with the last uh, group of questions? Practicaron la yes. última parte? Yes. yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. No questions? No questions. No? Okay. Me los llevo Paso. entonces. <laughs> okay, me los llevo al aula entonces. Vámonos. Very good, we're coming back. Very good. Practicaron la conversación y practicaron con las últimas preguntas también. Muy bien, los, los felicito. Vamos a la última asistencia de este día, pero antes les consulto si no tenemos alguna, alguna pregunta, alguna duda, con mucho gusto, antes de... Dicho, mande. Eh, yo sí tengo una duda. Con gusto. Eh, eh, con... Ay, se me fue el nombre, sorry. Ahí lo siento. <risa> este, estaba a ah, Celia. Celia fue, ¿verdad? Okay. No, no, fue Celia. Ahí se me fue el Mirna. nombre. Perdón. Con Mirna, Mirna. con Mirna. Okay. <risa> sí, eh, estábamos comentando acerca de la parte 3 del ejercicio. Sí. Dice que how many es para contables, eh, entre paréntesis dice horas, días, semanas, años, etcétera. Sí. A la par dice, how much es para cosas no contables, dice money, time, etc. Yes. Pero a nosotros nos surgió la duda a qué se refiere cuando habla de, de tiempo uh -huh. o de horas. No estábamos hablando de lo mismo. No, ya las horas son unidades de tiempo. Usted las puede contar. Pero cuando uh -huh. usted dice, how much time do you need? How much time do you need? Usted está hablando tiempo? de cuánto ah, tiempo en general. Solo claro. usa el concepto del tiempo. Oh, Pero sí, ya sí. cuando usted dice horas es how many hours, how many minutes. Cuando pregunta directamente por las horas. Ya las unidades de, con lo que usted mide el tiempo. Uh -huh. Sí, okay. es lo mismo que el dinero. Money uh -huh. es el concepto, es en general. How much money uh -huh. do you have? How much money do you need? How much money do you want? Y ya los, los billetes y las monedas son las que usted puede contar. I, how many bills? How many dollar bills? Okay. Ok. okay. Gracias, okay. teacher. Con gusto. Okay. Giovanni, ¿qué nos comenta? Eh, fíjese, yo tengo una duda eh, sí. respecto a la oración de information yes. on the internet. Entonces, ahí sería how much. Yes, how much information. Porque estaríamos diciendo información como información en general, vea, un es. logo totalmente. Information, information is a concept. Okay. Es un concepto abstracto, digámoslo así, ¿verdad? Entonces es como, no puede usted contarlo. Ok. Yes, good, very good. Ok, let's move then. Um, Aviel Salomón. Hello. Present. Thank you. Present. Ok. Celia Cristina. Present. Thank you. Claudia María. Present. Thank you. Concepción Marina. Present, teacher. Solo Thank aclarar you. que me tuve que desconectar de la computadora y me conecté con otro dispositivo. Ay, posible. muchas gracias. Sí, sí. Pero con el mismo correo y todo, ¿verdad? Para que lo, en los minutos sí, sí. estemos bien. Ok. Thank you sí, very much. Mismo. Ok. Diego Nicolás. Present. Thank you. Herbert Giovanni. Present. Thank you. Iris Cristela. Not today. Iris Liliana. Present. Yes. Thank you very much. Irma Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Oh, okay. Jocelyn Selene. Present. 
present. Thank you. Josué Alejandro. Present. Thank you very much. Juan Ramón. Present. Thank you. Karen Leticia. Present. Yes, thank you very much. Present. Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you. Marcela María. She's not here. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisette. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Present. Thank you very much. Rodolfo Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Saraí Guadalupe. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. Bueno. Los dejo en este momento porque tienen que ir a hacer la tarea, recuerdan. Vamos ahora con tarea número tres. Y eh, si tienen alguna consulta respecto a las tareas, a la plataforma, con mucho gusto me dejan saber y lo vemos acá en clase para que nos ayude a todos. Les recuerdo que el día de mañana es la última clase de la semana, ya que el viernes, por ser feriado, pues no tenemos sesión. De manera pues que los espero mañana sin falta para que sigamos practicando sigamos avanzando y pues eh, sigamos en su proceso de aprendizaje. Ok, thank you very much. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.